it's time to trellis some maters. Good evening, YouTube. So today we are trellising some tomatoes. I got two different types of tomatoes. I got indeterminate and determinate. So we're gonna be doing two different types of trellises. The first trellis for the indeterminate is gonna be the string method where you hang the string and um, attach, attach it with the clips. I'll show you that. And then we're going, we're going to do the Florida weave for the third trellis that we're going to put up. So it's going to be two of the indeterminate trellises and then one of the determinate trellises. So come with me and let me show you what we got. So we got these three rows right here that we're going to work on today. This row is indeterminate. This row is indeterminate and this row are determinants. I've already set up, well, laid down uh, the most of the hardware that we're gonna need. So we're gonna need a T-post. We're gonna need three T-posts on each trellis. So there's one, two, and three. Basically, one's gonna go here on the end, one's gonna go in the middle, and one's gonna go on that end down there. On the end T posts, on both sides, we're gonna have an elbow like that. It's gonna go on top of it. Then the conduit's gonna go into the elbow. And then on the middle T post, this is gonna go on top of the T post and the conduit is gonna go inside of it like that on that side and like that on that side. And then elbow on the end down there. Down here, we're gonna do the Florida weave. So all we need is one, two, three T-posts. Then we're just gonna use our string to, uh, to support the determinate tomatoes. For the indeterminate trellises, so you have these, this conduit right here. This is the three quarter inch conduit 10 foot long this one is the half inch 10 foot long i highly recommend at least going with three quarter inch if not thicker because these indeterminates are going to grow really really tall and they're going to be a lot of weight on them okay so i've used these in the past and they will bend they're more flexible so i would I would definitely recommend beefing it up a bit if you can. So the first thing that we have to do here is I have drip tape running underneath the soil right here. And this middle T-post on this one and that one is going to be in the bed. The ones on the ends, that one's going to be past the bed down there. And that one's going to be past the bed down there. So I'm not too concerned about those, but this one right here, I need to find where that drip tape is. Uh -uh. Okay, so I found it right there. That's it. So anything up here in front of it, I'm okay to, uh, to put my T-post at. So I think we're pretty good and ready to uh, start some manual labor here and putting some T-posts in. Zero. Now that I have the trellis up, 
it's time to put some string on it. So basically, I'm going to tie it off up here and then uh, drape it down. I'm going to clamp it to the tomato plant. And then I'm going to tighten the string by by attaching it to a little anchor in the ground. Let me grab that. This anchor right here. So basically, you know, it has a little, let's see if I can get in here closer. It's got a little uh, hook on it right there. So this portion will go into the ground. The plant will be back here. And the rope will be from the plant to here. And I'll drive this kind of down a little bit in the ground and keep it keep it pretty taut, okay? Um, I'll take you in close to show you how that works on the first couple of them or whatever, and then we'll get going. Ooh. All right, got all my string. All right, so <clears throat> how I'm gonna start this is I'm gonna take my little stake here and I'm gonna tie it off. Just a overhand knot. <clears throat> Double it up. All right, and it's good to go. And then I'm gonna kind of push it in at an angle, but I don't want I don't want the uh, jute to be down in the in the soil there. <clears throat> then uh, let me go get my pruners real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I want to get these things out of the way. Uh, they're just in my way, and I don't, I don't need them there. I'm just gonna pinch those off. All right, so now I can work in there. Get my jute here. Okay. So now I'm going to attach to the string. Give myself a little slack there. And attach to the stalk right here. I'm going to give that a little bit of tension, pull upwards. <clears throat> and then I'm going to attach it again. Get in there. And get in there. Okay. So now we're good there. And I'll keep tension on it. Like that. And then just get me a good, a good knot up here. Uh -uh. Okay, and that is how it's done. It's not super, super tight. It doesn't need to be. <clears throat> so they're not super, super tight, but, um, you know, there's a little play in them. I can move them back and forth if I need to. This one right here. This one's a little tighter on there than I kind of like it to be, but I can still slide it up and down if I want to. And then as this plant grows, I'll just keep clipping onto this, onto the string right here as it, as it goes up. So I'm gonna get all these right here tied off and get all the strings run. And then we're gonna move over to the Florida weave back there. Be right back. Well, watch this. Zero. Good. 
stopped me. All right, the trellises are up. I got all the string trellises for the indeterminate plants up. And then uh, I just ran, I just uh, put the T-post in for the for the uh, Florida weave one. I'll come back out here some other time and do that one. Um, I may I may record a short video for that or whatnot, but uh, that one's pretty simple. So I just went on ahead and drove me three posts then. I don't know if you can see, yeah, post down there. And then uh, you're just gonna, just like it says, just weave it in and out of the plant. Um, that's not hard at all. This one's a little bit more intricate with the indeterminate plants, but I've had great success with it. I'm gonna train these up on a single leader, so they will, uh, you know, be nice and neat and everything, and and hopefully produce a lot of tomatoes. So, um, anyway, thank you for following along. Oh, I got something for you. This right here. I just picked up one of these, and man, let me tell you, this thing. Watch, so I'm gonna water this plant here real quick. Watch, watch the water. Look at how that water come out of there. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you can water a plant real. I didn't mean to get up on the, up on the leaves over there, but I mean, a lot of water comes out of there. Makes your water a whole lot easier. See that stream? Real nice, shut it off. But uh, anyway, Hoss has these. If you uh, if you like if you like to purchase one, just uh, go into my link in the bio, my affiliate link. Um, basically, how I, how it works with my affiliate link is it goes to the main page. It doesn't go to the to the product page. So what I'll do in the in the description is I will. I will have the link and then I'll have a search word okay so when you get into that link you just search for the name of this and then it'll take you to it okay um, that's probably the easiest way because trying to navigate through it I mean you can go to garden supplies and then whatnot but it's easier just to just search for it if, it's, if that's what you're looking for so um, I'll have that in the description and hey thanks for hanging in there with me uh, I missed my goal of one a week, so I didn't put out one this week. This week is, uh, today is set, uh, Saturday the 11th, so this video won't come out till Tuesday, okay? So Tuesday, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, so the 14th is when this video right here is going to come out, um, but... Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get on my on my one week on, on one video a week, and if I can get my one video a week in, then I'm gonna bump up to two videos a week. Garden's looking great. Got a garden tour coming up here soon too, so I need to. I'm probably gonna do three garden tours. So I'm gonna do a part one, part two, and a part three, because I have the backyard garden right here, which is looking. Whoo! That thing looked like a shiny brand new penny right there. And then I got my garden number three over there. That's That garden is growing, it's looking great. Um, so I'll do a separate one on that one. And then I got the jewel, the crown jewel, my umami garden. Um, that was the first garden that I put in on this property. So um, I'll do a garden tour um, series. It'll be three, uh, part one, part two, and part three. And then I think after that, I'm doing a greenhouse tour, okay? So we'll get inside there and see what that looks like. Uh, see how I have it set up. Kind of got some cool things going on in there. So anyway, got some videos coming your way. Thank you for still being here with me as I ramble on. And yes, I was crazy before the chickens. But anyway, this is Daniel from Saucy Dog Homestead. We out.